What's up, guys? It's been a little busy, but I did manage to make a, uh, another episode for the Azure Sentinel Lab series. So here are some secrets, some tips you may or may not know about. So let's get started. Now, let's see here. Azure Sentinel, go to your logs. Okay, here's a tip. All right, so there may be a situation where you're just wondering, how much log am I collecting, right? Well, you could do syslog pipe count, and it tells you how much log you've been collecting for that day, right? Now you can take this filter and go back to seven days, and then uh, you can have that. You can take this filter, go to time range to syntax, copy this where statement, stick it in your query, and put the pipe in front, you can see how much logs have you collected in the past three days. Now it has this error, it says this column's not right because the column I'm referencing is a time generated column. So let's look at it again. And there you go. You wanna look at the past seven days, push seven D, you have seven days. You wanna look in the past 30 minutes, 30 M I N, and there you go, right? If you want to find out again, go to time rate syntax and the queries are available here and you can look it up. Here's another thing. You might want to know how much logs you're collecting from all your sources, right? Well, type union star and then do, hmm, let's do limit 10. See if it works. All right. Then we're going to go to summarize by pipe, it's a capital T, okay? Now we need to count it. Count, parentheses, by type, we've got count. Maybe you wanna name that column, total count equals count. Maybe you wanna sort that column, sort by total count. There you go. You've got all your logs, how much you're counting, right? Now here's some secret columns you may not know about. Which one are you being built for? Well, you could extend billable equals underscore is billable. Hmm. That didn't work. That didn't work. Is it billable? Oh, because I summarize, guys. Because I summarize. Hmm. We've got to actually add it to here. Uh, billable equals underscore is billable. Let's try it here. There we go. You guys see that? Billable is true. Any falses? Yeah, there's some falses. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? So now you got all your logs and then what you're being billed for. Isn't that cool? Now you're probably wondering, well, how much data? How much data is it? Well, let's figure that out. There's another secret column. It's gonna be, um, where's the data? What is it? Um, first we want the, let's do a project type. Um, we want billable equals is billable. Remember, a sensitive. And then the size of the data is, let's do data size equals um, build size. Nope, not that. Not that. Um, oh yeah, underscore. There we go. Data size. Billable. Needs an underscore as well. Okay. So now we got the type of data, billable, and the data size. What should we do to kind of bring it all together? Now you could do syslog. Right, but we have union, so we want to summarize, 
Right? Here's a little good little tricky. Count. Remember that. By type. So we got that we got that down and we know that the data size is there. You know what how what's the what's the function that what's the method to add them all together? Right? It's not gonna be count, because count is just really counting each entry. It's gonna be sum, right? So we're gonna have to do a sum. So let's do total count, total entries equals this. And we're gonna do a comma sum. And what are we summing? The data size, guys. Summarize total entries, count sum data size by type. And let's go ahead and sort it by some data size. Bam. That's 24 million bytes I got in my logs. 24 million, 24 million bytes culminates to what, 24 gigs, right? So there you go. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Um, here's another thing. You want to filter and say which one you're being billed for, right? Because this is like everything, right? So let me actually add that column billable. So now we got the type billable total entry sum data size. And then you can click on chart and you got a chart for it. Does that make sense, guys? Now you're probably wondering uh, you know, there should be a workbook. There should be like a workbook that kind of has all this, right? Um, there is, it's called a workbook usage report and, uh, there's a GitHub repo and I'm going to give you a link in the description and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you're going to go to that link, go to the GitHub repo. Um, and then you're going to have this workspace usage report. Okay. You're going to go to raw, right? Copy that raw, um, you know, all the raw text here, go to Azure Sentinel and then go to, um, your workbooks. And then you're going to add a workbook and then you're going to click edit. You are going to click on this carrot. Open carrot, close carrot with a slash in the middle. Click on that and then paste it. Apply. Okay. After you apply, you're going to click on works. You're going to click on your subscription and the workspace. Okay. Then everything starts hydrating and this workbook is activated like magic. Now, so now that you kind of know how the queries were, you know, how we kind of made those queries, it'll be kind of easy to break this down and understand how it's kind of, kind of done. Now there might be some areas where it's going to be harder, but this workbook is also something you can use as a reference tool to kind of see how certain things are built and certain elements are built or how certain charts are built. Right. And I'll go into another series of just building charts and kind of show you how to actually build each kind of chart components and different data inputs before this. Just come around, just load up this workbook, play around with it, understand your data, how the logs coming in, uh, what you're being billed for, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good area. So I'm actually going to walk through this and kind of show you uh, a tour of this workbook. Cause I think it's, I think it's awesome. Um, thanks to Clive again for making this workbook. It's, it was a lot of work. It's literally like thousands of lines of code. So he did a lot of work. So, uh, follow him. Cause there's other repositories he's built. If you want to want to want to kind of uh, see what he's building out, just there's other repositories he's building out. So be sure to just follow him on uh, GitHub there. Okay. Let's see. Mm. So the first tab, look, he built tabs guys each. It's not just a one workbook. There's workbooks and some of them have workbooks within workbooks. So there's groups, look groups. He grouped it up kind of what we kind of did. He had a high level. He broke out the table entries. He gives you a time chart. He, um, gives you the monthly averages. Yeah, man, he's, he, he did it all. 
latency. You want to know, you know, how, uh, what's the latency I, for those logs that are coming in, that are being ingested. You want to find out some heartbeats for your machines. Just click the machine you want and you get some results. Uh, heartbeat info for all the, uh, your syslog collectors or, um, you know, uh, agents that are supposed to report in, this is going to be the heartbeat, you know, where the heartbeat trend and, uh, the last time we reported in cost analysis. So this is a cool one. Like I said, there's tables within tables and keep in mind that price is not, might not be accurate because you may have reservations for your organization. You may have special cool discounts that you receive because you're, you know, you have a lot of, uh, Microsoft services you're using, whatever it is, make sure to modify this and, 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 and try to have it match your organization because every organization is going to be different, but you know, this is going to be a cost overview and it's going to give you a percentage, the estimated price, uh, last record receive, um, you know, charts, all kinds of stuff. The anomaly thing is pretty cool of kind of trying to identify anomalies when you see spikes in your usage. Maybe someone turned on performance logs or something like that. Right. But inside here, there's literally an other tabs within this one, right? So you can kind of learn how he built those tabs. Okay. So click edit, look at the workbook, kind of see how they built certain ele elements in here. Okay. But as you can see, um, he kind of took all this data and kind of just, um, provided your reservation, the, you know, analysis of, you know, what laws are coming from security center, what laws are coming from your syslog collectors, which I do syslog with the facility IDs, uh, the Ceph format, right? Sentinel, how, you know, if you have other workspaces, it'll kind of, uh, it'll kind of come up here. Um, I wasn't able to populate this stuff, but I'm sure if you kind of look at the query, you can kind of figure out what it's trying to look for. And then regular checks, you know, these are just regular checks you can do to make sure is a certain log coming in. So if you're expecting that user analytics logs is coming in, it says, oh, wow, it's been two days since that log came in. That's something you need to check into, right? To get that working, right? And there might not be no outage, but you're not getting logs anymore. So you might not be aware if something does happen, right? So check this out, play around again, click on edit. Um, and then you might have to click edit again, you know, to find that query, but a lot of cool things play around, have fun. Hope you like it. Um, again, thanks to Clive, uh, for building it out and enjoy. Um, please like, and subscribe, uh, hit the bell. So you're notified when I, uh, post another episode, I think in the next uh, series, we're going to dive into workbooks, go into, go, uh, go into deeper and kind of show you how to take some data and build some charts with it and things like that on Azure Sentinel, as well as ingest data from API. So you can actually ingest data from an API and have it be a data input for your workbook, maybe a JSON static file, maybe a, uh, you know, data set from data Explorer. Maybe you want to get some data from your arm. Uh, resources, maybe some data from your Azure resources, maybe from the graph API, whatever it is, all that can be ingested here. So you can have a nice workbook to, uh, to work from, right? Um, all right. That's it guys. Have a good day. Stay safe.